Hello everyone, uh, Kathy Williams from Brisbane, Australia here again. Um, I hope you've been enjoying my instructional videos and uh, have uh, found them of use. Uh, this particular video um, is about my practice techniques, um, which I hope will be of use to you um, if you're um, starting out and wondering how do I do some, how do I practice? And teachers often don't tell you how to practice um, and you might stumble blindly on uh, just playing the piece, uh, playing the same mistakes over and over again and wondering how do I get, how do I play better? Now I thought I'd share with you um, my particular techniques and also to give you an insight on the extraordinary amount of work that I do uh, in order to get a piece um, up to you know quite a quite a reasonable standard. Now I have a uh, concert performance in one week's time um, in which I'm playing the Rondo Grazioso of the first Crucelle progressive duet. Now I have particular trouble in this piece because I have tongued semi-quaver triplets. Now um, the piece requires them to be played fairly quickly because the rest of the piece um, is uh, just part of the rondo. So uh, the speed would be round about <laughs> so hard so I wouldn't be practicing that bit um, there's no real need maybe just uh, make sure you know all the notes but uh, at that speed suddenly the um, the tongued semi quaver triplets are actually really really hard <laughs> of difficulty here. Uh, one is the speed, uh, so that requires your fingers to move fairly quickly, and the other one is it's it's tongued. Uh, now uh, one of the first steps of being able to play something like this is to have a good grounding in technique. So I would recommend lots of staccato practice, uh, which I have made an instructional video about how to get a good staccato and uh, that involves uh, doing repeated uh, note scales so <laughs> so you'd start slow and gradually uh, work that up so that when you come to tongued passages such as this, if you can already staccato at a rate of knots, then that bit becomes a lot easier. But the particular bit in this piece I'm having trouble with is from bar 94, where not only are you facing the difficulty of the quick tonguing, um, you're also faced with trills. Um, thrown in on top of the tonguing. So, and uh, it's not easy. Now, for the last three quarters of an hour, what I've been doing is practicing nothing but those eight to 10 bars. And you may think, oh my God, how do you do that? How do you spend three quarters of an hour on just 10 bars? Well, my, seek, my tip, and uh, I, have, um, I have reiterated this before in various instructional videos, but how I've been practicing this bit is uh, with my trusty metronome. So I don't start at the speed and keep just stumbling over that trill. Uh, that is of very little use and can be quite destructive. Uh, both to the piece and your confidence in playing the piece. So what I've done is I started really, really slow. So 
This is the metronome equaling 60. It's the first two bars, so bars 94 and 95, that are of most difficulty to me. So I've just practiced those over and over again. So you practice them on a loop. probably drives your neighbours and your parents absolutely nuts but it really is the best way of practicing a difficult passage. It's rather like uh, learning how to ride a bike. Now what you don't do when you ride a bike is just get on it, find the biggest hill you can find and barrel down on it. Uh, you wouldn't do that. You probably start with trainer wheels and then uh, you'd start by having someone hold the back of the bike so that uh, you don't fall down. And then when you, when you are trying to ride the bike by yourself, you probably choose a nice grassy spot so you don't hurt yourself too much when, uh, when you fall over. And uh, music's much the same. There's a thing called muscle memory where um, if you practice something slow, the muscles remember it and you get gradually faster and faster. Now another practice tip I have is that funny things happen in performance. Um, you know, the nerves get to you, you suddenly lose confidence. Um, now what I also suggest is making lots of notes on the manuscript. Um, I subscribe to the theory that it, when the nerves are kicking in and you're in front of an audience and there's a lot of pressure to perform, I assume that I'm rather, rather stupid, and this comes especially in handy with key signatures and accidentals. If you have an accent in the beginning of the, uh, accidental in the beginning of the bar, and you know that it's going to turn up later than in the bar, what I do, and this sounds a little bit moronic, is that I purposefully mark the manuscript with that accidental again, so that when it comes to performance. That's one less thing I have to think about. And uh, I found it enormously helpful, um, especially uh, in orchestral parts. So um, maybe highlight, um, you know, various dynamics or, um, you know, sort of sort sandos or uh, writs. Um, so that's another tip is make as many notes, uh, many, many notes on the piece as you can. So I think um, that's about it um, for this particular tutorial. So uh, what I suggest is take out only the bit that's giving you, well, take, take out the bit that's giving you trouble, practice it over and over and over again. Uh, start with the metronome really slow and then gradually move it up. Uh, make lots of notes on your manuscript and also have your technique down pat before you try this piece. You know, so if you've got a piece with a lot of quick staccato, well, practice your staccato. Because um, as I've uh, said in previous videos, if you've got the technique there, if you, can all, if you can already tongue very, very quickly, or if you've already got a solid technique as in terms of uh, your scales, you know, your third, your harmonic minors, your melodic minors, makes it a lot easier, make lots of notes on the manuscript so that when it comes to performance you really don't have to think all that much and you can just concentrate on just making beautiful music. Uh, so I hope this has been of use um, and it gives you an insight into the enormous amount of preparation that goes into every one of my videos. So I hope you've taken away uh, something um, very useful from this. Uh, I do appreciate feedback if I've um, if I've left something out. So best of luck guys. Um, currently the metronome is at 69 and I've been doing this for three quarters of an hour. Um, 
So I'm going to keep doing it. And also another point, don't be upset if you don't get the if you don't get the difficult passage in the one practice session. A lot of times I never do. You know, it might take a week, it might take a month. Um, but if you uh, record yourself, you might find that there is an improvement, um, that suddenly it does become so much easier. So that's my two cents. Uh, take from it what you will. Best of luck and bye for now.